A Jersey Shore landmark has burned to the ground. Chopper 10 over what was Castle Dracula in Wildwood. You can see now it's just a pile of burnt rubble. The famous haunted house has been a boardwalk mainstay since the 1970s. Castle Dracula sat along the Wildwood boardwalk on Nichols Midway Pier. That's right at the end of the Cedar Street. Two teenagers who were caught leaving the scene are now, we are told, in police custody. NBC10's Monique Braxton is live on that scene now with more. Monique. Larry, it's been about seven hours now. If you look just over my shoulder, you can see smoke is still billowing from this gutted haunted house. And as you mentioned, two teenagers are in custody tonight. They were caught leaving the scene by an off-duty police officer. We're all, we all have like kind of an emotional attachment to the place, so it's a little sad. Dee Dondero was a vampire for three years at Castle Dracula. She came back today to watch 120 firefighters from several communities battle the six alarm blaze. It was a fun place. Um, I met all my closest friends there. The friends I'm still friends with today for 13, 15 years now. Why anybody would want to burn the castle down. It's kind of like a landmark. It's been here for so long, ever since I was little. So it's a shame. I'm glad they caught somebody. Caught are a 15 and 16 year old. Investigators say they face arson and burglary charges. It's my understanding that they have confessed that they broke in through the rear of the building, worked their way towards the front, and uh, some way or another ignited the fire. But Chief Conrad Johnson isn't sure of what ignited the fire that's still burning seven hours later. We collapsed down onto the ground level, beach level, and there's a lot of fire down below that collapsed material now. We're just having a difficult time getting to that. Firefighters are working in an area once known as the Tunnel of Love. When the Nichols family built Castle Dracula in the mid-1970s, it soon became the Dungeon Boat Ride, had been Wildwood's oldest working ride. Now it's burned debris that cannot be replaced. Most of the uh, artifacts and props that were in there were made by people who are not even living at this time. Most of the moles that were in the top building that were put away for safekeeping are now gone, so it's actually irreplaceable. And Angelo Duck Nichols told me that he expects to build a deck out over the area this summer. He also says he will probably lose about $400,000. Live in Wildwood, Monique Braxton, NBC 10 News.